So I'm, I'm now going to export a report from the system as a PDF. Let me go back to that form one and reapply my signature uh, just for the benefit of this example. And then I'm going to go to file, uh, export PDF. I'm obviously going to export this as a single level report. And there are various settings on here. We can control the order that the output comes in. Obviously, if I don't want to send a particular document, uh, then I could I can uncheck anything that I don't want to send. I can customize the order per report style as well. So if there's a set order I need to send things in, I can do that. I'm going to export using print colors. The screen colors have got all the reds and oranges, but um, you can actually have a customized set of print colors. So you might want to just print it in black and white, for example. So I'm going to click export. I'm going to pop it onto my desktop and I'm going to call it demo01. And the built-in PDF writer is going to write the PDF document. And we can take a look at that in just a second. Just wait for that to go through. So open that up. So there's my PDF uh, report. And you can see that uh, it's got the report number, the report style. Optional photograph, obviously that could be your company logo if you didn't want to attach a, a part photo. The part name, um, part number, revision, etc. And obviously your company name would be uh, at the bottom there. The, the next page that's generated by the software is an index page. And because it's generated in PDF format, um, it's all um, hyperlinked. So if I want to click on the current status, for example, I can just click the link and it will jump me through to the current status. The current status document will cascade onto as many pages as the part is complex. And it highlights all the things that are missing with the report. And it's quite key because this is the point where mistakes are made and a lot of time is wasted trying to pick a job up. Uh, that you put down previously or trying to pick a job up from somebody else. Um, as I say, that will cascade onto multiple sheets uh, depending on the complexity of the part. Um, here's the balloon drawing and um, I've, I've selected uh, balloons that uh, are black and white, but you can customize the color to, to whatever your preference or your customer's preference is. Um, you can see there that I've signed off the form one and you can also see the um, process and material specs that I've got in place on form two. Some of these fields are orange and uh, that's highlighted on the current status that those fields need completing and obviously you can type data directly into those. There's the form three and again we can switch that color coding off when it's completed uh, but you can see there the greens and reds and there is the attached certificate of conformance uh, and if I go to the final one there's a copy of the part marking photograph that we attached close to the beginning uh, of the example. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is how we can use the software to create an inspection plan. Um, so it's moving away from first article just for a moment and then I'm going to come back and show you how assemblies work.